Our Honorable Tessa Ugo, Deputy Chairman of the House Committee on Environment, emphasized the need for a multifaceted approach to combat wildlife trade, highlighting the global up status of the issue and the need for street enforcement, community engagement, and international cooperation. This new strengthened the legal framework for Nigeria combating wildlife trafficking. It models the provisions of existing guidelines and establishes more stringent penalties for offenders, thereby serving as sufficient deterrent to intended offenders. The aim is to dismantle the wildlife trafficking networks and disrupt their supply chains, which will significantly deter the trade and protect endangered species and their habitats. Furthermore, the deal also promotes inclusivity between stakeholders and the community. There is a need for adequate provisions for community engagement, public awareness campaigns, and local empowerment initiatives. By promoting education, raising awareness, and empowering local communities, public awareness campaigns, and local initiatives, and by promoting education, raising awareness, and becoming guidance in natural resources. Now, the Minister of Environment, Balarabi Lawal, and the Deputy Director of the Department of Forestry, Razak Adekola, highlighted the challenges of outdated laws in promoting sustainable forest and biodiversity conservation. Strengthening of the policy, legal, and institutional framework is high water to our national approach to tackling biodiversity loss, environmental challenges, and climate change. The increasing population, coupled with transparency crime, particularly wildlife and forest crime, has continued to mount pressure on natural resources. Although Nigeria is being dealt as a transit point for wildlife trafficking, we are not losing sight of such crime being perpetrated domestically. The failures of system laws and legislations have proven to be inadequate in addressing the problem, and this explains why we are here today to subject the child on the endangered species conservation and protection in 2024 to policy dialogue. Oliver Stolpe, a representative from the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, criticized the current legal framework for not uh, adequately addressing life, uh, wildlife crime. He emphasized uh, that the proposed bill would accelerate the fight against wildlife and for its life and protect endangered species. Consequently, pending the adoption of the bill, Nigerian law enforcement authorities cannot fully activate the provisions of the UN Convention Against Transnational Organized Crime and cooperate effectively with their counterparts in countries of origin, transit and destination. The weaknesses of the current legal framework are exemplified in the minimal sentences handed down for, uh, to wildlife crime perpetrators who have been prosecuted and convicted in the past year and a half, thanks in part to the seriousness of the Nigerian Customs Service. The low penalties in the current legal framework are such that they can be discouraging to the dedicated intelligence-led investigations and prosecutions that have made these convictions possible. It is therefore an important milestone in Nigeria's efforts to combat wildlife and forest crime that we are gathered at this policy dialogue to review, review the Endangered Species Conservation and Protection Bill. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.